Good morning. It's me. Um, it's my look at the catch act in video. And um, here we are at my, the guitar lab, as it were, where I like to um, set things up with the guitars and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so you can tell I'm losing my voice. The air quality, as you probably know, right now the air quality is terrible. You can't really smell it as much as, I know in New York they could smell it. And, you know, I was talking to people in um, near Philadelphia and stuff like that too, and they could clearly, like you could smell it smoke and everything. Over here, it's more of like, a, kind of like a haze. Like we have a full moon right now almost. I think it's like, it was full moon like two days ago. And when you look up at the moon, as I often like to do, because I love the moon, me and Luna have a special relationship. And uh, when I look up and I see like this kind of like smogish thing, it looks like terrible. And it's like, my God. And this is the air quality, they're, what they're talking about. And you could tell, beautiful day today, except for that air quality thing. It was like 80 degrees, wasn't real humid, but like just going out, doing any kind of activity, you would notice like you were just feeling a little blah because you weren't getting a good breath of oxygen, I guess, you know? So um, I hope they get that taken care of soon. They need a good rainstorm over there and I pray for that. So anyway, um, so um, what do I have, right? So what do I have? A topic, a topic, a topic, a topic. What's going on with Dylan, okay? You know who I'm talking about. I mean, I wish her the best, I really do. But she's putting out these videos that um, I think she's getting triggered. I think she's getting defensive without saying it, okay? Passive aggressive, I don't know. But the thing is, she's just kind of like reacting to um, how people, you know, when she put out that first, that when they did that, but what do you call it, the Anheuser-Busch thing. I didn't want to say the name of the beer. <laughs> uh, you know, when that all happened, uh, I don't think she took that well. And rightly, rightfully so, but the thing is now she's reacting. I think now she has a chip on her shoulder and she's just trying to, like, whatever video she's releasing now is probably more of a reaction and she's trying to, like, say something without saying something just to get them. She knows that'll trigger them, so... It's a shame what's going on, but she really needs someone to advise her. Um, she has an, I'm sure she has to have an entourage of people around here, right? And yet, no one of that entourage is like advising her. Either that or she's just kind of like going over their head too. And they're saying like, you know, maybe she's just being that way. I don't know, but I doubt it. I think everyone's just kind of saying, oh yeah, everything's great, you know? And they did the same thing with, Michael Jackson and stuff like that. When there was something wrong, he really didn't have someone really watching out for his best interests. So I think that might be the situation with her right now. But anyway, um, the outfit is a nice little skirt, crop top. Uh, nice for a nice 80 degree day. It's like 74 now. Um, but as I said, the air quality is terrible. But... Um, and I went with a white theme with uh, white nails. Swatch, do you remember the Swatch? They were really cute back in the, um, <laughs> the 80s and 90s. And uh, this is not a real Swatch, but I, I need to go look. Maybe I can get one. I have to look up online. Maybe Amazon has them. I don't think so. But um, they were really cool. You get them in different... Um, they were kind of like Jordache jeans. Do you remember back, back in the day? Okay back when I was a teenager, short ass jeans were out. And I remember, this is a real quick story, but it was kind of funny. I had bought, um, my girlfriend was 16 years old and, you know, I was a, uh, I was like a uh, sophomore. I had a, um, I'm sorry, I was a senior because I had a car and uh, I had my hot rod, my first car, which was a used Oldsmobile um it was like a 442. It was like a real hot rod kind of thing. And her father, I was dropping her off from school one day. And um, she, um, I seen the father coming out of the house and I just took off. I let her off and everything. And it wasn't like I ran, but I was like, I, I don't want to 
talk to him right now. So he had said that, she had told me that, um, oh, my father wants to meet you now, so he, why don't you come over for dinner on uh, Friday night or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, you know, I wasn't dressed or anything like this. I, you know, um, I was thinking about it. <laughs> um, so I went there and he was always, this guy was always threatening me, okay? Um, threatening me in a, in a point like I'd be sitting at the table, he goes, you, you know, he would bring up different things like, you know, if I hear you do anything bad to Debbie, you know, and he was being a good father, I guess, you know? And I was like, oh, no, he, you know, look, I'm, you know, I totally respect, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was saying all the right things. So I got to date her and everything. And uh, he let me, he let her drive with me. So like I could, um, he trusted me basically. So that was cool. But, you know, she wasn't working or anything. And she asked me um, for her birthday, whatever. She said, uh, she told me what she wanted. She wanted a pair of Jordache jeans. <laughs> and um, so we went out and I said, well, you got to try them on and everything. So she bought a pair and it was back then. You're going back a long time ago. Okay, and um, 83, 84, something like that. Oh my God, um, how time flies. And it was like $40. And that, and that was like a good chunk of change for me because, um, you know, I, had, I was in like high school and, um, and it was just, um, you know, spending money on gas. You know, I was putting money into the, into the car, buying different things for the car. And I had like this like little job of doing telemarketing. I remember it was a terrible job. But um, so I bought her a pair of Jordache jeans and she loved them so much that she wore, <laughs> she wore them all the time. And after we broke up, I had uh, seen someone um, that was always around her, her other friend, Debbie, her friend, Debbie, it, it, her, her name was Debbie and her friend was Debbie. And when I seen Debbie Frigal, she was like, yeah, I said, oh, how's Debbie doing? She goes, oh, yeah, no, she's, you know, she's doing okay. She's dating somebody, whatever. And she's always wearing this Jordache jean she bought her. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. I was like, but, I mean, not every day, but, like, it was like she adored them and everything. It was like, her, I guess her father wouldn't buy them. And, again, $40 back then for a pair of jeans was expensive, okay? Today, that would probably be equivalent to like $120. But um, yeah, so anyway, I hope everyone's having a lovely week so far. Friday is just around the corner, just hours away, a matter of fact. So let's celebrate together. And again, the outfit, a jean skirt, crop top, white and blonde.